So today we're going to be talking about compressor surge, also known as wastegate chatter, uh, VL dose, um, giant pigeon. And uh, also known as the gobble. Gobble, 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 gobble. So a lot of people have heard the term compressor surge, but might not be clear on exactly what it is. First of all, here's what it sounds like. So basically what happens is air that's supposed to be going that way into your engine suddenly goes that way, gets chopped by the compressor, and that's what makes the pigeon noise. So high pressure and or low airflow, that's what starts compressor surge. So basically when you're on the throttle, you're on boost, then you close the throttle, the air's got nowhere to go. Now it's the job of a blow off valve to relieve the pressure so that it doesn't go back out through the turbo. If you don't have a blow off valve or it's not doing the job properly, you're gonna get the fluttering sound when you lift off the throttle. The other condition where it can occur is when you're actually accelerating on boost. Now, if you're asking too much of your turbo, you're running too much boost for the engine and the turbo combination, just as you hit peak boost, the, the turbo will actually start to surge. Once you get past that point, maybe one or 2,000 RPM higher in the rev range, the airflow increases enough to make the condition subside. So that's what actually causes surge, but what is happening inside the turbo when it sounds like a giant turkey? So technically, compressor surge is a condition where the blades on the compressor wheel stall. Now that's a confusing term because stalling, when you're talking about a rotating device, kind of implies that it's actually stopping. It doesn't stop rotating, it doesn't spin backwards or anything like that. We're talking about stall in terms of an aerodynamic sense. To clarify that, if we think about the blades in the compressor, more like an aeroplane wing. An aeroplane wing stalls when the airflow over the low pressure side of the wing actually separates from the surface. So when that happens, the wing loses the majority of its lift. Basically, the plane will fall out of the sky. Same thing happens on a turbo compressor wheel. So as the wheel is spinning, if the air can no longer follow the back of the blade, technically the blade has stalled in the air. And what that will allow is the pressure that's in the intercooler to back its way through the compressor. Now, unlike an aeroplane wing, a compressor will actually kind of self-correct the condition when it surges or stalls. Because the air is backed out through the compressor, it's reduced the pressure a little bit in the intercooler enough that the blades can re-grip the air. Then they'll pump a bit more pressure back in there, then the pressure goes up too much, backs out, and the cycle continues. Now that's what gives you that chopping turkey kind of noise. So even though it sounds mad hectic in your VL, this is how it can damage your turbo. As the air is repeatedly pulsing back out through the compressor, it can cause shock loads on the, uh, on the blades themselves and also on the thrust bearings. So if you're running high boost and you're really pushing your turbo to the limits, you really shouldn't be allowing it to surge like that. So what can you do about it? Now, if the surge is occurring on your car when you lift off the throttle, what that means is basically whatever blower valve, if you have one, is on there, is not letting enough air out to prevent that surge. So you either need to increase the size of the blower valve or reduce the spring preload. And that will prevent the surge when you lift off the throttle by giving it a relief path. It's a bit like water hammer in your taps. You turn the tap off too fast, the water goes bang, bang, bang through the pipes. So the blower valve provides a relief that prevents the surge. Now, if the surge is happening while you're actually accelerating on boost, that's related to the turbo and engine combination. So even though it can occur on a stock turbo, it's usually if you're running higher boost than stock. A common example is Mark 6 Golf R with a KO4 turbo. Generally about 22, 23 PSI at 3000 RPM, they will start to surge. So really, if this is what's happening on your car, the only way to get around it is to reduce the boost pressure a little bit. It only needs to be done at the RPM range at which surge occurs. You can still carry it through to redline. You can ramp the boost further up in the RPM range, but basically you've got to drop the boost. There's no other way to get around it. You could bleed air off through a blower valve or a diverter valve, but that's really a band-aid solution because effectively you're trying to make boost and then you're letting it out through a valve. So the better solution would be to only make the amount of boost that the turbo and the engine combination will support. So if you're getting compressor surge when you shift gears, it means you either need to upgrade or adjust your blow valve. Or if you're getting it while you're under acceleration on boost, you need to lower the boost pressure a little bit for that particular turbo or engine combination. Or option three, just keep it and head down to Church Street, Parramatta. Thanks, Brett. <laughs>